So what does sleep quality have to do with a balloon? I'm going to be talking about this in today's video. Hi, my name is Martin Reed from insomniacoach.com. I help people with insomnia improve their sleep so they can live happier, healthier lives. Now, as I've talked about before, there are only two real drivers for sleep. And these are sleepiness, so you have to build sufficient wakefulness during the day, and daytime activity. As long as you have sufficient sleepiness and you've been active during the day, generally speaking, sleep shouldn't be a problem. We call this the accumulation of sleep drive. And a good analogy to use is sleep drive is like blowing air into a balloon. So in this video, I'm going to run a visual experiment to show you what I mean. So let's take a balloon from this will be a healthy sleeper. OK, so they'll wake up, say, at the same time every day, let's say 6 a.m. And so as soon as they wake up, they immediately start to build sleep drive. So this is the start of their day. Small balloon, not much sleep drive. So as the day goes along, they build up more and more sleep drive. So that's more air in the balloon. Okay, then maybe they'll be at work or they'll go to the gym or they'll meet up with friends for lunch. That's more sleep drive, more air in the balloon. Okay, so by the time they get home from, from work, the balloon's getting pretty big. Okay, so then we'll have dinner, maybe start to relax, but still sleep drive is still accumulating into the night. So our balloon's getting pretty big. And now we're really close to bedtime and our balloon is ginormous. Sleep drive is very strong. Okay, this is gonna pop in a second, so I'm just gonna hold my ear. Okay, then that bang, that is you going immediately to sleep. You get into bed, that sleep drive just releases you straight down into deep sleep. And it's probably enough to sustain you through the entire night. Now let's take an example of someone perhaps with chronic insomnia who doesn't have this sufficient sleep drive when they go to bed. So instead of their sleep drive starting at six in the morning to accumulate, they may be staying in bed later in the day. Okay, so instead of me blowing into this balloon to represent 6 a.m., 7 a.m., now it's 8 a.m., okay, now it's 9 a.m., I might get out of bed. So I'm going to start accumulating sleep drive. So I got a little bit of air in my balloon. Maybe I had a really bad night, so I'm going to call in sick to work. So I'm not going to be active. So again, my balloon's still staying pretty small. I get to around lunchtime. Okay, I've built up a little bit more sleep drive. Okay, um, now maybe I'll take a nap. So I've got this much sleep drive. Now I'm going to take a nap. So what happens? I'm going to lose air out of my balloon. So now I'm back down to here. So the day goes along, I'm still inactive, I'm resting, maybe watching TV, cancelling plans with friends, still building some sleep drive throughout the day though. Okay, so I get to the evening time, um, I'm really, really keen to go to bed, so I'm going to go to bed at say 8 o'clock. Okay, so now it's 8 o'clock and I'm going to bed. So do you see the difference? I've only got this much sleep drive. So what's going to happen? I'm going to lie in bed. But my balloon isn't firm enough. It isn't big enough. I'm not going to get that explosion, that pop that's going to send me straight down into deep sleep. I'm just going to lie there because I'm not ready for sleep yet. So when I eventually do fall asleep, what's going to happen? I'm just going to get like this tiny little bit of sleep and my balloon's empty. So it's going to take me longer to fall asleep. And when I do fall asleep, I'll probably wake up a lot earlier in the night before I want to be waking up. So what I want to leave you with here is this. It's so important to build up enough sleep drive during the day to help you sleep at night. Okay, so make sure that when you go to bed, you go to bed with a nice, big, happy, smiley, full balloon that's ready to pop. You do not want to be going to bed with a small, sad, floppy balloon. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different to the videos I normally do, but I think the balloon is a good analogy for sleep drive. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a comment below, or if you have any suggestions, again, just leave a comment. Um, 
If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. I try and share a short three minute or so sleep snippet video every weekday. Um, and if you'd like to get in touch, my email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. And I hope to see you back here again soon.